Hey everybody, this is John Siskovich with Farm Marketing Solutions, and today I wanna to discuss building your own website, the do-it-yourself drag and drop method. Now, there are a lot of benefits to building your own website, uh, and, you know, some of those being that when you want something updated, you can update it yourself. You don't have to wait to send the information to a web guy and pay him to update it for yourself. I mean, if you can spend the time to learn to use a tractor, you can spend the time to learn to do your website because that's part of your marketing. And as a small business owner, I think it's really important for you to do that. Now, the drag and drop method, very, very simple, easy to use, very visual, uh, and you know, pretty much anybody can do it and do it really fast. But before you get into actually building your website, what you should do is, you know, old fashioned, just take out a pen and a piece of paper and write down exactly what information you want to have on your website and write out what pages are going to be there, a contact page, a blog page, or a, a sales page, or a product page. And don't put up a page if you're going to say coming soon, because that's so disappointing. If you have a page that you want to put up, if there's information that you want to put up, put it up and put something on the website. Don't put a coming soon. I think it's a really, you know, it's a faux pas and it turns people off, which is, you know, if you're taking all that time and effort to get people to go to your website anyways, you want to really wow them. You want to wow them with your farm products and you want to wow them with your farm marketing as well. So take that time, write out what you want to put on your site before you actually start to build it. And if you go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash farm dash website, I've outlined what, you know, what the stuff I think you should have on your website, um, at the bare minimum and then other pages that you might want to add on if you want to diversify your content a little bit. So heading over to our fat cow control panel, which I outlined in the last video tutorial, uh, you'll see right at the top there's website. And in that section, I can scroll down here, uh, is Weebly drag and drop builder. Now you'll hear WordPress mentioned a lot and I'm going to do a whole separate tutorial on WordPress because it's a whole different animal. We want to get you up online, you know, and your website and your information out there as quick as possible. So we're going to go to the Weebly drag and drop builder. I'm going to click on that. Now that we've click, clicked on the Weebly drag and drop site builder, uh, it'll bring us to this page. Uh, there's ways to upgrade it if you want to do something else with Weebly, but we want the basic editor. We want to get you up and moving as fast as possible. Uh, so we're just going to pick our domain name that we registered. Uh, I'm going to do mine for food cyclist farm and click on edit my site. And once it loads, that brings you to, this is your basic, very basic template. Now, if you want to change that template, you go up here to design and you have a vast array of template options. You click on it and that'll begin to your, your visual editing process. Uh, we'll say this one looks good. I like the uh, maroon and gray theme. It's already got food on it, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, we'll go back to elements. Now, this image has food on it, but it's not the image that I want. I'm going to click on edit image and load my own image. That brings me to a image editor. Uh, now that I'm here, I want to click on add image and upload a file from your computer. Now I created a, a folder with some images in it already. Uh, I didn't optimize them. I didn't crop them to any specific size. Uh, you can see it's just farm website video tutorial images. And we're going to make my lovely wife, Kate, be our header image. Uh, here is a tip, quick tip on search engine optimization for people finding your farm. Really easy to do. So when you have your images stored on your folder, put the, na the file name uh, and you just click on it and hit F2 and that'll change your file name or right click and uh, it'll have rename. And put the name of your farm and something descriptive about the picture. So on the front, on the beginning of all my pictures, you can see I put food cyclist farm. So that way, when search engines are logging my site, you know, they're crawling it and creating that whatever algorithm that they create, that's, you know, way more intelligent than I am. Um, it'll have food cyclists there right in the beginning. So, you know, all the content in my website is uh, branded to food cyclists. So uh, you know, I will be found when people search for food cyclist farm. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that picture of Kate, uh, after that little tip I gave you and click save. There we go. And I uploaded the photo. And now from here, it's got these little arrows. I can drag and drop it, change it around a little bit. May have not been the best photo to use. 
kind of want something a little more horizontal. Um, but because I like Kate, we're going to use that. Click OK. Now it automatically cropped it into that. It automatically cropped it into that um, that size for me. And I'll click Save as default header. And there we go. The top of my page has Kate on it working away in the fields, uh, which is great. Uh, and now to add elements, well, let's say we'll uh, uh, add a paragraph with a picture. So I just click on it, drag it down, click here to edit. I'm going to say, this is food cyclist farm. We love chickens. Now sample image, click here to edit. Let's upload another file. Because we love chickens here at Food Cyclist Farm, I'm going to upload that file. And there we go, a picture of a chicken. Uh, we have a chicken say, CSA. Wouldn't you like to join? Um, we'll make it a question. Uh, so that's, you know, that's it. I mean, you, you've cried, we've just created a page. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, now to create more pages, because we're going to want to have a number of different pages here, we'll go over to pages and add a page. Our new page we'll call a chicken CSA because we're going to have information about the CSA there. Uh, once I wrote in the name of the page, I can choose layout, what it looks like, uh, and we'll do that layout so we don't have a big header at the top. And you can choose whether to hide page in the navigation menu, and that's whether you see the page or not. Password, protect the page. Uh, we just want a basic page, so we're going to go to edit page. From there, this is our basic edit page. We can, you know, if we can click home from there, there's our home page, our chicken CSA, which we just created. I don't like this image, so we're going to click on that. Go to add image, click to upload file from our computer. Um, maybe we'll put our chicken in there too. It's uploading, virus scanning. And maybe we'll, no, we'll just leave it like that. It'll be a chicken head with a chicken butt. Click OK. Save. Only to this page. And there we go. And from there, if I want to put information about my, my chicken CSA, uh, I just put in drag and drop some text click there to edit and I can say, you know, Hey, join this, join our CSA. I could put pictures in there, uh, edit information, you know, edit all the information. If I want to put in multimedia, whether it's a photo gallery of chickens that I have, uh, slideshow, uh, different files, uh, well, you know, for instance on the files for my chicken CSA, which is foodcyclist.com forward slash chicken and herb CSA. Uh, and I'll, I'll put that, that link in the, the notes here. Uh, I have a downloadable PDF form that I just created in Word, set it as a PDF, uh, uploaded the f upload uploaded the file, uh, and uh, people can download it, fill it out, and mail it back to me with their check to join the CSA. So that's you know you would add a file like that. Um, Google Maps. If you're creating a contact page, uh, if you have Flickr or YouTube videos, uh, or Flickr photos or YouTube videos, it's all super simple, super simple to use. Uh, you know, we already created a page. We have our home page. We have our chicken page. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is general settings. So your site title, your site title should be the name of your farm. Show the site title at the top of your page. Uh, favicon. So what a favicon is, is that little, if you see up here on farm marketing solutions, uh, that little leaf right there, that's a favicon. That's when you see, you know, you have something uh, up in the tabs or uh, right here. Uh, there should be a little little image of that piece of paper. If you have something, it's a really small, tiny image. Uh, usually some, you know, if you have a logo or a, a shape that represents your farm, you can put it up there. If you want to password protect, you can, um, you know, password protect your site for whatever reason. For search engine optimization, put in a description of your farm. So, you know, we could say, Food Cyclist Farm uh, is the best 
farm for pastured chickens and culinary herbs. This is how people are going to find you. You want a, a good description that's very brief, maybe 140 characters long. Uh, the same as, you know, if it fits in a Twitter message, it, it'll fit in your site description. Uh, a brief description of your farm that tells people exactly what it is. This is how search engines are going to find you. You want it to be keyword heavy. You know, if you're selling pasture chickens and culinary herbs, put that in there. Meta keywords are keywords that would describe your farm. So local farm, um, local farm, Connecticut farm, so on and so forth. Um, I won't, you know, I won't go into all my keywords that I, I have. Footer code, uh, what you're going to need for that is Google Analytics, and we're going to go into that in another tutorial about how you use Google Analytics and what's it's all, what it's all about. But when you sign up for Google Analytics and you have to have a Gmail account, a Google account for that, you'll have a code. They'll give you a, a really simple code that copy and paste. You don't need to know what it means. You'll set it up and you'll see that code and it'll say copy and paste this code to your site. When you create your site with Weebly, this is where you paste it. So that's in the settings under search engine optimization uh, in the footing code right there. Header code, uh, don't worry about that yet. There's some Google Webmaster tools that I'll need, you know, need you to have that in there. Uh, but you really don't need it for right now. Uh, until you get a little bit more advanced. Uh, so once we've done that, click save at the bottom and there you go. So really, you know, I can't tell you exactly what words to put up on the site. That's up for you to do. Uh, but you can see that it's really easy to design a website with Weebly. Uh, just drag and drop. When you're done, you just click publish and that's it. And your site is online. And like I said before, I'll have a more in-depth WordPress tutorial, and I might even have some more Weebly tutorials up on the Farm Marketing Solutions website. Uh, but for now, this will get you up, this will get you going, and you can start marketing your farm website. Uh, again, one more time, if you want more information on setting up a farm website to know what domain name registration and hosting is, what information you should put on the website, uh, I've outlined exactly what pages you should at least start with and, and, you know, until you can start adding your own. Um, you visit farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash farm dash website. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comment section on YouTube. You can leave them in the comment section of the farm marketing solutions website, get in touch with me through email, social media, uh, any which way that's most comfortable for you. I check it all religiously. Um, just make sure, you know, keep on contacting me and I'd be happy to. If you have any other questions or things that you need answered, um, I'll make a video tutorial of it because chances are if you're wondering it, somebody else is as well. Uh, so I'd be happy to help out as many people as I can with these tutorials. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.